Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's another day, so it's another meeting with Oli Cow Robotics Team 6424 in Olympia, Washington. Um, it's a new meeting. We've got a new location for our meetings as well, but we've still got a lot of really cool stuff to show you. So come inside and take a look at what we're working on. So at the moment, we're preparing last year's robot for some fundraising trips we're going to do in a couple days. Um, after the end of the season, the robot kind of fell into disrepair, so we are repairing it again. But this is a really a good time to sort of go through some of the hardware um, that our robot was built around last year. So I'm going to hand it off to Ian here to tell you some of the things that make our robot run. Okay, so I'm going to give a general overview of the design of our robot. Um, to begin with, our frame is made of one inch aluminum. It's eighth inch thick. This is really strong, and we found it really useful to have an indestructible frame last year. So, pretty much every other part of the robot is built off this frame. First, I'll describe our drive base. It's just simple tank drive. We have rubber wheels in front and omni wheels in back. It's geared up by 1.5. And we found that to be pretty fast, but it gives us a good scoring capability. And then, if you take off these wing nuts, Wing nuts are great because you can take them off easily and put them back on. You can see these mechanisms, which are tracking wheels. And we used these in um, the autonomous period so that we could tell how far we had driven. But the difference between having an encoder here versus on the wheel is that if our robot is stalled, whereas the motors might keep spinning and burn out the motors, these tell you that the robot actually isn't moving. Um, next, I'll describe our pickup mechanism. If you look in here, these two foam rollers suck up cubes via this one motor that we have here. And then the cubes come into this V-shaped hopper. It fits four cubes exactly. And once we have four cubes, we raise this linear slide. The linear slide is made of one inch square aluminum with um, milled Delrin slides. And then we would raise up the lift and dump the cubes. So if you look here, this is the pulley mechanism for our lift, and one unique thing about it is that the pulleys go in both, or the string goes in both directions. So this string pulls the lift down, and this one pulls it up. For our flag raising mechanism, it's geared up by four. Um, this raises the flag in about two to three seconds. We bought this 20 tooth gear off eBay. Um, it allowed our flag raising mechanism to be a lot smaller. And one unique thing about it is that the entire mechanism is on a slide. So we can slide this entire mechanism up and down if the arena is different. Of course, I can't do that right now. <laughs> and lastly, our climbing mechanism is passive, which means that it didn't use any motors, which gave us the capability of using the rest of our motors on other parts of our robot. So four for the drive base, two for the linear slide lift, one for pickup, and one for the flag. So for climbing what we do is release these hooks and snap up both of these arms and then when we want to climb we would drive forward at the bar and it would clip on and then when we drive backwards we'll be straddling the pyramid and we'll be slightly off the ground. So One drawback to our robot this year though was that this is kind of height dependent and we ran into a lot of poorly constructed arenas um, with the plus or minus one inch thing where we couldn't really climb. We tried to fix that by using wing nuts here, as you can see, um, so that we can quickly attach. And we actually have two positions that this can be at, um, but that only sort of fixed it. So we could double hang with this, by the way. Okay, so a little bit later in the day now, and we have achieved some things. Ian, you achieved some things, apparently. Um, I took apart our old robot. Um, so no, Ian, that's our new robot you took apart. Well, not anymore. Oh, okay. Um, what we've been working on recently, um, in the past year we have broken so many encoders that we figured it was time to test them and figure out which ones still work and which ones we can't use, because this has screwed us over in some competitions. And the results are? Um, we have four working encoder disks out of four, so all of them work, and then Five out of six of the readers work, and Ernest is trying to figure out what is wrong with the other one. Hmm. 
Well, um, Ernest, does the robot work with Bluetooth now? Uh, yes, it does. It's fully functional with Bluetooth and two joysticks and everything. That's great. Um, we're hoping to go on some fundraising trips kind of soon. At the moment, as we speak, Viva Bison is upstairs uh, looking into some people to visit. So here, you'll hear how we did with that in some upcoming videos. Uh, hopefully we have no horror stories. One thing we use a lot um, as Olika Robotics is Google Drive. We have like an extensive uh, file system on the internet that all the team members have access to. As you can see, we have folders for each year. I'll just go back to 2013 to the <laughs> first year. We really don't have very much here at all, um, and most of it's pretty stupid. <laughs> uh, but then Ring It Up, or sorry, Block Party, we have a lot of stuff. We got Outreaching, Fundreach, Media, um, we got photos. Uh, we got a ton of photos here. So, just pictures. Um, and then we've got our outreach, miscellaneous. I wonder what's in miscellaneous. I don't actually know. Hardware wish list. We probably didn't get any of that stuff. Non competition specific ideas. Hmm. Uh, communication protocol. Lots of fun things. Uh, if your team doesn't have something like this, I recommend that you have it. It really helps us communicate and just all be on the same page, pretty much literally, um, when we're not together. <laughs> okay, so one kind of funny thing we just found when looking through our drive from the Ring It Up season was we found this file called, like, Pre-Competition Checklist. Um, one of the tasks that was a priority of five that we wanted to do <laughs> was uh, finish Autonomous Program. As you can see, we didn't. It's kind of true. Uh, down here, it's kind of interesting, there's one, number 14, it says, decide on team name. We hadn't done that when this document was made. Uh, we have now, um, redesign drive base, mascot, decorate, um, find a way to make moo.rso to play, priority zero. Um, Ernest, I can remember you spending at least, like, five hours on that. Hey, it worked. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is just kind of a fun thing that we found. One advantage to saving all of your crap is that you get to look back at it and be like, wow, we're bad. Anyway. <laughs> okay, we found another document in the Ring It Up thing. This one is just called Brainstorm. As you can see, we've got movement mechanism, omni wheels, we now know not to do that, claw and linkage. I honestly don't know what that is. Let's go find out. Um, you should, uh, uh, <laughs> Derp, I do not think oh, that's wow. particularly <laughs> efficient. <laughs> Um, stomp butt, <laughs> skis, uh, <laughs> continuous track, well, okay, um, crane lifting mechanisms, that's all pretty straightforward, wang mechanisms, scale, <laughs> um, for the reference, Legged, legged robots, robots. <laughs> interesting points to consider, uh, hmm, interesting, well, uh, as you can see, everybody's gotta start somewhere, <laughs> Uh, don't be afraid to be dumb. <laughs> we really were. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, that concludes our meeting for today. The only thing I have left to do is uh, drive away.